Well, hello and boom shakalaka. You know, whenever I teach an intermediate to advanced Microsoft Excel class, invariably people want to learn about a function called VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is a super powerful function that can be used for a number of things, most notably uh, to compare databases to see if uh, certain items from one database are already in another database, or when you have duplicate records, of course there's other ways of doing that, but VLOOKUP is one way to do that. But I think a more popular reason to use VLOOKUP is to go over to a large database, find a product number, an employee number, a customer number, find that particular item in the list, and then bring back information about that list uh, to load up a form. So what I have here is I have a very simple list. It's an employee list with an employee number, first name, last name, position, and salary uh, for these employees of uh, Soul Canyon Training and Development. And then let's say I have just a little employee summary form uh, that I want to fill in. Now what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to identify the employee number and then whenever that employee number is in here, the VLOOKUP function will go to try to find that employee number in the leftmost column of this database. And when it finds it, I'm going to tell it to put the information from the first column here, um, actually the second column of the array here, uh, the last name here, the salary here, and the position here. So let's see how that would work. So every formula function starts with equals. So this is equals, and then if I just type VL, we'll see that vertical lookup is uh, VLOOKUP, or vertical lookup is the only function here that starts with VL. So when I double click on that, we can just look, look inside the parentheses here and see what the vertical lookup uh, function wants. The first thing it wants is the lookup value. So we're going to have it look up that right there, the employee number, comma. Now, it wants to know, well, where do, you want, where do you want me to try to find that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this entire table array here. It's just the actual information in the table. So it starts here in A3 and ends with E7. And what vertical lookup is always going to try to do is to find the lookup value in the leftmost column of this array. That's how vertical lookup works. And then comma, then it wants to know, okay, which column index number, so one, two, three, four, or five, do you want me to bring the value back from? Well, this is the first name field, so we want, to, want it to bring back the value from the second column of the array. And that's what we want, want the vertical lookup function to do. Now we hit enter on that, and what it's doing is it's going finding, going and finding, 567894, it gets down there, and then when it matches it, it goes over to the second column of the array and brings back um, the first name. Now I want to be able to copy this down, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some dollar signs up uh, here in, the, uh, in this so I can copy it down. Now in terms of the lookup value, all I really need the dollar sign in front of so that it won't change or absolute reference is the row part of that cell reference. So I'll put the dollar sign in there. Now, this array reference, both sides of it actually need um, a dollar sign in the row indicator. So I'm going to put a dollar sign there, and I'm going to put a dollar sign there. And that's simply so it will not shift when it copies down. Now what I'm going to do now with those rows locked is I can copy this down uh, the full length here. And as you can see, it's giving me patent each time. Well, that's because when I copied it, when I copied this, it was column index number two, and when I copy it down, it's still looking for column index number two, except for this one, I want it to find column three, and then uh, the salary in column five, and then the position in column four. So we will change that to three. We will change this one here to the salary in column five. And then we will change this one here to the position in column four. There we go. And all we have to do now is put uh, some dollar formatting on that salary. So we'll just go ahead and do that with right click, dollar sign, and no decimals. And we have this form working perfectly with vertical lookup. Now here's the thing. Sometimes when people start using vertical lookup, they'll start complaining that their database is not laid out so that the particular lookup value that you're looking for um, to, doesn't naturally lay it out so they can try to find it in the leftmost column of the table. Sometimes the employee number, you know, will be the seventh or eighth field. And to make vertical lookup work, you then have to 
move that employee number to be the first column of the array, and that can be a real pain in some databases. So there is another option. Let me go ahead and unhide these rows right here to show you the layout in a slightly different situation. I have here um, the situation where maybe the employee number is the actual third column. So instead of using vertical lookup for this example, what I'm going to use is a combination of two functions called index and match. Now, to think of the index function, think of playing Battleship. When you're playing Battleship, you're always trying to isolate the, uh, the row and the column that might intersect with a position that the ship might be in. So you always call out coordinates like A1 or B2 or whatever it is. Well, the index function works basically the same way. You give it a location where to find something, and it will bring back um, some information from that particular location. So what we have in this array is we have one, two, three, four, five columns. So this is column one, two, three, four, and five. And then it has rows one, two, three, four, and five. So for example, if you were going to say, bring me back something from position from column three, row three, it would be that right there. So then what you do to mimic what vertical lookup does for you is you incorporate the match function to try to identify which row something is on. So for example, we're going to tell the match function to match this number right here in this particular column right here. And then when it does, we'll point it to where we want the column number that we want it to bring back a value from. So let's try it. So every formula function starts with equals. So the first thing we're going to do on the outer side is we're going to do index. So index. And then open the left paren on index function. Now, index can be used in a couple of different ways. So we're actually just going to use it the first way right here. Um, we're going to identify the array, which is this right here. And then, of course, we're going to need to isolate the lock the row numbers with the dollar sign. So we'll put those in there. And then we're going to do the row match. Now, the row match is what match is going to do. So we're going to say match inside of the index function there. We're going to say match that lookup value in this lookup array. So we tell it, OK, which is the column? It's this right here. And that array is, of course, going to need all of these are going to need dollar signs on the row indicators. So we can copy this down. So we'll put a dollar sign there and there and there. And then when it, we're going to make it do an exact match. So we'll just click exact match there. And that will give us the row number. And then comma, the last part of index needs to be the column number. So we're in the first name field. So it's going to be column number one. And that's what index will do. So that brings back Rob. Now when I copy this down, it's just going to do Rob, Rob, Rob. But when I go down here to last name, and I change the column that I want to bring back the value from, to the second column of the array, which is the last name. Then it gets Hamilton. Now see salary is in the fifth column. So we'll just change that last part of index to five. And then I'll change the position to the fourth column. So there we go, there's four. And all I have to do is apply that same dollar formatting to that salary. And here we have it using match and index. Let's walk through this real quick. So index, we're telling it that the array is this entire table here. That's A11 through E15. That we're going to get the row number by matching this right here employee number to this lookup array right here. And then when it finds it, bring back the value from whichever column of the table you want it to find. Now, it might look at first blush like match and index have more moving parts than vertical lookup, and they in fact do. But it's pretty easy 
um, to learn how to use that and it gives you more flexibility than vertical lookup does so give it a try uh, once again I want to let you know that I have a wonderful program called Excel Essentials with tutorials like these that cover every aspect of Microsoft Excel so feel free to go out to our website and check it out contact information is also out there so if you're trying to use vertical lookup or match or index to do a particular project in Excel feel free to contact me there you go there's another useful tip from Rob Hamilton Soul Canyon Training and Development boom shakalaka <laughs>